Hey guys, my name is Kelsey and welcome to my life. welcome back to my channel today I am going to be teaching you guys how to edit using iMovie which is a great app a lot of people suggest to use like Final Cut Pro and stuff but I'm on a lower budget so I like using something a little cheaper but um, I figured out ways to make it just as good as any other huge editing app so I'm gonna teach you guys what I do how I edit just basically teach you guys the basics of iMovie if you guys are struggling because it's a little hard to use at first but then you're gonna get the hang of it and I'm just gonna help you out. First step to iMovie before we start getting into editing is importing your videos. iMovie, if you do put an SD card, it does have an option to import. Mine doesn't really work for some reason, so if yours does the same thing, I don't know if it's a glitch or what, I recommend you go to the Photos app on your computer and then you import your video from your camera to your computer and then you just drag it to your desktop and then drag it to iMovie. So that is how you import from photos and if the iMovie option to import works for you then that is great and it should be simple and easy. So this is the iMovie app. This is just the where all my projects are basically. So I'm going to create a new project, movie. You can also pick doing a trailer which is kind of done for you but if you want to make it unique in your own then I suggest you use the movie option or if you're vlogging or anything so I typically do that so here is your project media right here so this basically is all your stuff that's going to be in this project so all of this is just other projects I have and it's other footage that I could use but I want to stick with this one right here. I'll just uh, show you guys the basics. So you basically want to import your media. So I'm just going to pick something from a random video that I have. Here we go, right here. And you could zoom out, zoom in by um, opening your fingers, closing them. It zooms out, zooms in on the project, as you can see. So, or you could use this little option up here to zoom out and zoom in. To play your project, you just press the space bar and it plays. And then if you want to chop up your footage, so let's say I want to stop right here. I just press the space bar and I press command B and that blades it right here. So there's like a separate section. So then I could take this section and do what I want with it. Oh, I'm like, wait, so then it skips oh, wait, to a different part. You could also expand it, what your footage is right here. You'll see it pop up. You don't have to press anything, but yeah, you could just cut out footage if you want to, certain sections and stuff, and redo, undo, like this. So that's a super easy uh, tool right there. And then if you want to select a certain section for audio purposes, you would hold down R, so just the letter R and then drag it so that you can pick a certain section like so. So this section is picked. You could either press delete to delete that section or you can adjust the volume in just this section. So if you want no volume, this is your volume down here. You could go up, down with your volume. I suggest using 100% unless you can't really hear then I'd go up but once it goes to yellow up here that means it's a little loud um, it might be louder than you want it because sometimes it does mess up the audio so I suggest you keep it you know around here if there's a little yell that's okay so there's that those are some basic tools down here delete button is delete you know um, so if I want to take this image I'm going to click it and up here there's a bunch of options color correction I like using this a lot so it just basically this is like your contrast and make it darker lighter you can kind of play with it and you'll figure it out this is your cropping tool so for this, um, crop to fill, basically you crop it as much as you want, press enter, and then you know, yeah, it does that. I don't really want that though, so I would press fit. Or you could do Ken Burns, which basically just kind of zooms it in, so start to finish. So I'll edit the finish. So I want it to finish on Maddie's face and start with us. So this is basically what it does, is it kind of oh, slowly, see how it's slowly zooming in. 
<laughs> yeah, so that's basically what Ken Burns are. So you usually want it on just fit if you want your whole screen on there. Um, this is your stabilizer, so you basically stabilize. If your video is very shaky, then it stabilizes it. I'm not really gonna get into that. It takes a while to load, so I don't really like using that. But um, here's your audio. It's basically what this is down here, but it's up here if that's easier for you. Background noise, if there's like cars in the background you want the noise reduced, then you basically just use this. Speed, here's your speed, slow, fast, freeze frame, all that. You could put it into reverse, your clip filters. There's a bunch of really cool clip filters that you can use. You just press on it and then it basically just turns it into whatever you want. And then audio, you could make your voice squeaky, you can make it low, you know, all that. So you, you could play with that, it's kind of fun. And then let's just get into the titles. So this is how you add a title basically. So if you want a title on its own page separately, you're gonna just drag it into an empty space. And then there you go, it'll just go from this to the title, you know, and then if you want the title on top of your video, you just simply drag it on top of the video. You see, you can expand it as so, expand it, reduce it, the timing. You double click this to type on here, so you type whatever you want. I'm cool. Oh, yeah. You can highlight it, change your color of it. You know, make it your own. You could play with all this. There's different fonts, just like on any other um, computer. So yeah, you could play with that. There's a bunch of different really cool ones that you can use. Um, for transitions, you could play with all these. You usually drag the transition in between here. Double click it if you want to fix the timing of it. So I usually like doing 0.5 seconds. Wait, can we open that? <laughs> See, it just kind of transitions into that. So you could use anything. Here's a cool one. Computer's glitching. Wait, can we open that? <laughs> so you see how it kind of just went out. That's just your transitions between footage. And then what I like to do, if you guys like the pop-ups that you see in my videos, so this is how I do them. I usually get like a PNG format. So you type in like, if you want a clown, type in clown, then PNG on Google, you'll find it. That means it's a transparent background. So like this one, this is a transparent background. See how there's no background behind it? So I'm gonna use this. And what you wanna do is press fit, go to this option right here. If you want it to cut away, it'll cut away completely from the video to a different screen. And then if you want to have it green screen, you know, which I don't have, so I'm not going to get into that. You could split screen it so it's on two different sides. And I usually do picture in picture, so I usually have it up here, make it, you know, however big I want to. And then I usually have no dissolve right here. That means it kind of fades in, so you could play with that. So then it just kind of pops up okay. right there. If you want audio or music, sorry, I'm just going fast because like I just want to teach you guys real fast. You could always rewind and stuff. So if I want like a ding or something, I have these options. They have sound effects as well that you can use. I usually get it from the internet, different sound effects, just because I like having different things. So what you would do is you just take it, drag it to where you want it. Um, you can alter the audio and I kind of like to line it up you know so when it's lined up that means it'll ding right when it pops up so That's good. see how it like popped up yeah and if you want to export your video what you do is press this little button up here you press file I wouldn't suggest doing the YouTube upload button because then you can't really customize it as much so what you want to do is name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it I'm cool because I am. And I usually do high quality resolution 720. They also have an option for 1080, which is a bigger file. Um, but 10, 720 and 1080 are the best ones. I do not recommend 540 because it's just not great. Um, you want it to compress in better quality so that nothing gets messed up. And then you just press next. 
and then you save it to wherever you want and then it will load for a while and then you'll see it will save and that's how you export it. They also have an audio option right here. So you guys can record your voice over if you want right here. You just press this red button, it counts down, and then you do your voice over. Those are like the basics, I guess. If you guys want to start editing, you know, you could add music too. Same way I did this audio, you just add the music. So I'm gonna, so here's this. You know, and then it's kind of loud, so I like reducing the volume. What you could do also to fade it in and out so it sounds good. So let's say I want it loud on this part and quiet on this part. You just press the R button like I did on the other one. You just highlight it and then you reduce it right here. And it has this option to fade it. So I like to have a long fade just so it doesn't sound like it's just cut in and out. So. So yeah, see how it fades out, and then this will, would be like right away, you know, if you want it on top of each other, just be boom, music. This is like fades in and out of it. So this is how you fade it and such, and then at the end of your, or beginning, you could also fade it with this little um, circle right here. So it fades in, so that's kind of what that does. Um... Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can think of at the moment. So if you guys have any more questions about iMovie, um, just let me know. I went through it a little fast just because I didn't want to make a super long tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys what everything does, show you the basics, and show you what I use basically. Some of the other options I don't really use, so I, I'm not going to explain them just because um, I don't really know what they are. <laughs> I hope this video helped you guys out. Let me know what other videos you want me to make. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.